Delay Cree creates. In previous war times, soldiers were taught to advance cautiously, stay low, move slowly, all so that they can avoid enemy fire. But there were those who charged ahead, ignoring all the risks and all the warnings. And unfortunately, those were the ones that paid the ultimate price. Medic! Now, fast forward to our personal work, school, and run lives. Just like in war, those who charge ahead without thinking can find themselves in dangerous situations. Find out how you can stop running too fast in your races so you can get your best time and more on this episode of Trees and Delay. 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 Don't master a lot, don't master a little, just stay in the middle. Don't master all, don't master none, just be, just be a master of some. What is up? Welcome to Trees and D-Lake, an audio and video content series by Mike Trees and me, Darren D-Lake Runs. Here's Mike Trees, a 50 year plus pro runner and triathlete on how exactly we want to help you. And the aim of this podcast is to give in a lighthearted, amusing and entertaining way, hints and tips to help you all run better and enjoy your sporting life more. So let's see how we can go with that. What about me? Well, I've been running and doing this endurance sport thing for like 20, actually 26 years now. I've run a sub three hour marathon and I've done an Ironman triathlon in 10 hours. Language warning, on a few rare occasions, we sometimes use some bad words to get our point across. Apologies for that. And last point, we do all of that in a super short, sharp and concise way because- Ain't nobody got time for that what you will learn in this episode, what to actually do if you start off a race too fast, how to stop going out too fast in the first place, energy systems simplified so you understand what actually happens to you and your body when you go out too fast, negative splitting, and more. Let's get into it. And there's a lot of people out there that really think that you can speed work your way and power, strength, work your way to doing a marathon and that you don't need all of that aerobic base type stuff. Can you interval train your way to <laughs> to uh, uh, your best marathon? A simple answer to that, if I'm pushed for an answer, would be no. Okay. And I'm coming from that background of, yeah, let's either just go super hard and fast or just uh, easy recovery sort of thing. And uh, I, I've changed my approach that over the years, the top guys, you you need both. They, they get the engine big uh, and then they become, they work on their efficiency at running at, at a percentage of their, their VO2. I would say that actually most people that we're, that listen to this podcast are not going to win races. They're here just to learn a little bit more, go a little bit quicker and have a healthy life. Aerobic running is the way to go. A less free radical damage when you stay in the aerobic zone, you build up bigger capillary development, mitochondria development, the arteries get wider, the ability to get oxygen, the muscles get better. It's a healthier way of life. So we're going to do a bit of a lesson on energy systems. Go. In essence, uh, we, we have three energy systems. It's, it's quite simply one aerobic and two anaerobic systems. So we've got what's called the ATP CP system. We'll give you energy for up to about 10 seconds. Uh, and it's before the lactate system, the initial energy is, is used up. You go on to what's called the uh, lactate system. The, the energy burns up the carbohydrates without the presence of oxygen. We've got what we call an aerobic system, which uses energy uh, using oxygen. But this is where the problem is. When you go too fast, you start off using the uh, anaerobic system, this stored energy that gives you about two minutes. So you can sprint off down the road for the first minute of the, your race and think, wow, this feels easy. What you don't realize is you're using the anaerobic system. Uh, and as you use up that energy, it suddenly runs out and it's payback time because that lactate builds up in the blood and it blocks the aerobic pathways. You can't get enough oxygen to the muscles, so you have to slow down. So what does this mean for a distance runner? It means with, in essence, we've got to learn how to pace the run correctly from the start so we don't go off too fast. A lot of people love half marathon and the marathons. You really have to be careful with going out too fast because if you go out slightly too fast in that first or second quarter, you're going to pay that debt come third or fourth. And it's going to be like, oh, no. And then you're just going to hit that quote unquote wall because of that marathon. You could be in very good fitness, physical fitness, cardiovascular fitness. But if your chassis isn't ready for it, which happened to me, um, that last 10 Ks, 12 Ks, the last six to eight miles 
it will destroy most people. I'm a classic example. I haven't done enough time on my feet so that my muscles, my connective tissue, my ligaments, my tendons, they all break down. So in a marathon, everything starts to hurt the second half of the marathon. Aerobically, it's fine. Anaerobically, I haven't gone anywhere near that. Something happens with the fuel source as well. Again, if you go slower, there's less damage on that chassis. It can go longer. In essence, you start of a race too fast before we go into any science or physiology. You, you, excuse my French, you're pretty screwed. You've gone too fast and you've got to slow down. That's the only thing you can do. You, you can't get enough oxygen in, you've got to slow down until you can get enough oxygen to cope uh, and then Wait, start again. Hold on, what about what about the people that are like, oh, I'll just mind over matter, I'll just push through it. I yeah. got this, what about those people? <laughs> Uh, I think the, the, the lactate would build up so much your muscles wouldn't move and your body would would physically limit you. You, you know, this is like, I remember the 400, you know, you come, come to the last 50 meters of a 400 meters when you're a kid. Yeah, mind over matter. No matter how much I'm thinking, my legs turn to jelly uh, and you just see people just physically slow down. There's no mind over matter, unfortunately, when you can't get enough oxygen in the system uh, and the lactate is filled the muscles, you just got to slow down. Yeah. So it, it's better if you can work out you've gone too fast. The sooner you work it out, the, the quicker you do damage limitation, in, in my view. <laughs>